Hi guys, what's up? Today we are going to build a compact strain wave gear. Let's start adding the first bearing in the motor base. This design is based on a split circular spline. Next part we need to add, is half static circular spline. This half circular spline has 60 teeth, and it will be attached to the static motor frame. Now let's assemble the flex spline. The flex spline in this case has exactly the same teeth number than the first half circular spline. Only difference is slightly smaller, to allow the oval flexion. We will need three main components. The axis hub, the flex spline and some metal balls. Once the flex spline is assembled, we introduce it in the motor axis, and align the teeth. Then press until here light click. If we move the axis what we see is the oval movement. Note that the flex spline keeps static. This is because both components have the same number of teeth. For this test we will run the stepper motor at high frequency to see how the flex spline works. Let's assembly now the last movement circular spline. I already introduced a bearing inside to keep all components aligned. This half movement circular spline has two more teeth than the other ones. These two extra teeth makes the movement possible. The ratio of this strain wave gear is then 30 times slower. Now let's add the circular spline and run again the test. Despite the movement is done due to these two extra teeth, the rotation is quite clean. Let's try to stop the axis. Since ratio is 30 times stronger, it's hard to stop it. Now we are going to proceed to close the assembly. We will put the top cover. Note that a bearing has been introduced before, to keep the whole assembly aligned. Last step is to put the four screws and tighten them. Once we have completed the assembly, Let's try to move it a bit, 